Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're checking out the new map tees from Infinity Ward. Now, before I go into this, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support on these videos. The shorts are killing it. So if you guys want to keep getting new content, just keep liking and subscribing. I appreciate it the most and let's get into it. Now, as we know from the videos I've previously covered, Infinity Ward has dropped so many teasers. It's almost like I can't pick one specifically out of my brain. There's so many. I mean, there's the one with the perks on it, the new maps, the two ones. And that's all I can remember because there's just been so many. But this one, I'm going to chuck an image on screen. It's a full map view of a new map that is suspected to be Museum. We've heard a lot about Museum. There's been some gameplay, what people said was the map, from one of the other teasers. But yeah, this is Museum. I'm wondering if it's going to play the same as a lot of MW 2019 maps. And if it does, I'm going to be really ashamed, but it looks almost more of like a mixture of three lanes. So what I mean by that is like, this doesn't look completely like a Modern Warfare 2019 traditional map would look. There's a lot of different lanes, but you can obviously tell, you know, like we got the middle, we got the left side, we got the right side, but it feels more, I feel like the word's natural. Like there's a little museum, I think little structure in the bottom left. There's a lot of cover there's a lot of diversity from just a overhead map view so i'm really excited for this map i'm just praying they don't mess all this up and keep keep going with the modern warfare 2019 style of maps because i'm i'm okay with this like you can definitely tell it's three lanes but i feel like it would blend a lot more naturally than a modern warfare 2019 map because that game they went full realistic and that's what i really honestly hated about it it's too realistic and the campers, there was just so many opportunities to just sit in the corner and do nothing. So honestly, I'm hoping this is a good sign for the game. Looking at it again, though, you can obviously, like, you can see where the spawn points are. You know, we got the bottom, we got the top up there. So I'm just wondering, is there going to be, like, some trapping going on? Because we've played shipment, guys. We know, we know how this works. We've played a lot of Cold War and a lot and a lot and a lot of Vanguard maps where you just get spawn trapped, especially, like, Doss House. It is just horrible. The spawns in that are just disgusting, to be honest. So I don't know if that same sort of thing is going to be going on with Modern Warfare 2. It looks kind of, on the left side here, it looks a little bit more open than the right side. So I don't know if on the right side there'll be like a cheeky little lane you can see from and then you can just pop, 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 like pop off on people and they just can't do anything. But hopefully I'm praying right now spawn trapping is not a big deal in this game just because if it is and we're pulling this again because with Cold War and Vanguard there was a lot of spawn trapping actually to a lesser degree on Cold War but like Vanguard is every map. Like, on the Small Map Mayhem playlist, it is just every map on that playlist. You can get spawn traps somehow. So I'm praying they really... Like, they've had three years. I'm praying they have a lot of good intentions, and they understand the logic. I'm just praying, because I don't want to be sitting in a corner just ba 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 dead, ba 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 dead, ba 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 dead, over and over again. Like, it's just... It kind of ruins the multiplayer for me. So let's be serious here. Hopefully, they've got a lot of the design philosophies right in this game, and they didn't mess simple stuff up like this, because it's just, it's such a prevalent issue. There's always going to be tiny spawn trapping issues, but hopefully they've kind of minimized it from Cold War and Vanguard, and we just get the best type of maps we really possibly can. More on the spawns, though, specifically, if we're playing something like Hardpoint, and the objective's, like, moving, and if Patrol's coming back, it's just kind of a more significant version of Hardpoint... The spawns could get a little quirky. They could get a little cheesy, annoying. So sometimes we'll be spawning on the left side, not the top or the bottom, the right side maybe. So I'm just wondering, like, with these sort of modes, we could be in the middle. It could be anything. With these sort of modes, though, I'm just wondering if they can really nail it and make it so spawn trapping is just at a minimal because, honestly, it, it sucks a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of fun out of the game, and I'm just not in the mood to be sitting in a corner for 20 minutes just getting completely lasered for no reason because of simple failures in the designs of the map. But hopefully these issues with like Hardpoint, for example, with a moving objective and spawns kind of flipping around, moving and stuff, we can see something that's not completely terrible like DOS House because if that's the case, this is going to be a long, a long two years, remember, because Treyarch's not having a new game until 2024, so... We just got to hope for the best, and I'm pretty sure once we play the beta, we'll get a deep, pretty good understanding of this, although things will change on the full release after the beta, so just be aware of that. Now, that's just one map, and with 
other maps kind of being rumored we got kill house we got i think it's called shoot house again for modern warfare 2019 i'm pretty sure it's called shoot house we got shipment as well i'm hoping this issue is just really thought through and they understand again just because like these tiny tiny maps like shipment there's almost nearly no good way to perfect the spawns you can get them okay but there's no real way to perfect the spawns and make it so none of this spawn trapping will happen so i mean hopefully they can really sort out their issues with this in the beta they learn a lot of information on the maps how they're played really by the community and how we go around these maps just movement in general in the maps debris how all the debris works how the lanes work how natural it feels and hopefully we can get just the best product ever that we can out of these maps just because like dude the spawn trapping issues on modern warfare 2019 was oh when i got damascus it was tragic so i mean hopefully we can just sort this out we can i hope they really understand though i hope they really understand the tragedy that is modern warfare 2019 sure it did amazing like the amount of revenue but for hardcore players like me that love this game to death, like, it was it was a horrible year for me. I just want to quickly touch on these perks real quick. Dude, if Ghost is how it is in Modern Warfare 2019 where you can just sit in a corner and be a little rat. A literal rodent. Like, you're not human. You're a fucking rodent. Honestly, like, I am so not excited. Like, I just want news. That's the thing. Like, there's nothing confirmed about perks. They showed off Ghost. They showed off Double Time. They showed off Sleight of Hand. But we don't have information. That's the thing. Like, we don't have no information on this. Sure, with Double Time, we know that's gonna, you know, make you tax burnt longer. Sure, with Sleight of Hand, we just know you're gonna reload your guns faster. Animations are just cut down. But with Ghost, there's been so many tweaks to Ghost, especially in Warzone. Where we have no clue what type of ghost it could be. And they just actually recently released a new teaser for uh, some more perks. I forget what they showed, but I'm just hoping for, for some basic changes we'd expect from them. Because honestly, if we don't get these changes, again, like, I cannot put up with this any longer. These, like, ghost is so OP, man. I'm, I'm waiting for nerfs. I'm just waiting for nerfs. And hopefully we get that. It's genuinely crazy because I'm at, like, nearly a loss for words at how people enjoy the game sitting in a corner, and it's the most rewarding playstyle in Modern Warfare 2019 as well. That is the horrible part. It is the most encouraged playstyle in the whole game. Maybe not by the community. The community doesn't love it, but it, the developers sure do. So hopefully they can just patch out and fix these issues. And it goes with the maps, not just perks. It goes definitely with the maps. We can't have good maps, and then we still have people camping in corners with ghosts. Like, it's it's... You got to do both or nothing. Fix these perks, fix these maps, and then we get a great product or fix one of them and we get an okay product or fix none of them and I'm I'm literally not playing the fucking I'm not playing the game. I can't play it. Hopefully though, the more we see about these maps in the beta, hopefully it's just you don't really for me I kind of just like to run and gun and don't think. Just kind of like almost shut off my brain and just don't think about anything and just play. So hopefully that's a huge thing. Well, not a huge thing. I can understand. We need to have maps that obviously, you know, you got to kind of think and move around and maneuver. But, I mean, is it not fun just kind of going on shipment and just spraying with your gun? Literally no brain power. No nothing being computed in your head as to what position you need to take or anything. I don't know. Like, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm I'm the minority here. But it is so much fun just kind of aimlessly going around and shipment. I don't know why. So hopefully we can see a little bit more of that. Especially because things like Kill House, Shoot House, and obviously shipment are planned to return from rumors and leaks. Hopefully we can just see a lot more of that in 24-7 playlists for shipment. Please, I beg of you, Infinity Ward, please. Although I gotta make sure for myself personally, I don't expect these things. I gotta, like, come in. Because after Vanguard, I'm not gonna lie, Vanguard's underrated, but, like... Let's be realistic, it was a low point for Call of Duty. We were not at the highest parts of Call of Duty that we should be at in the franchise right now. So hopefully we can really just... I hope they learn from their lessons. Not in this sort of way, like, they completely changed the game. There's nothing that's the same as Modern Warfare 2019. But just these simple, like, design failures in multiple aspects of the game. Like, movement, footsteps, perks, just maps in general. And then apparently, like, quoting people... 
they've learned their lesson. So hopefully, I don't know what that's kind of like the form of that's going to be, what lesson they learned. But hopefully we can just we can think about the best scenario here and just take it as it is. They learned their lesson on maps, maybe footsteps, maybe perks, or it could be all three. I just don't know currently. Alrighty, guys, well, that marks the end of the video. I'm sorry if this video lacked a bit of structure. As I literally just said what came to my head, there was no real, you know, I'm not really writing down notes about the video. I just said what I what I saw and what I think about these maps. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I appreciate all the love you guys are showing on these new videos. Like, I'm just seeing 400 views, and it's just the best feeling, even though it may not be the most. Although, I appreciate everything, guys, and make sure to like and subscribe if you want more, and, um... <clears throat> Peace.